What's up, y'all? Good evening. What's up? Good evening. Yeah, how are you guys doing? Okay, so you're welcome back to today's video. And you're welcome back to Victoria and Amy's family. Okay, so in today's video, yeah, we want to unbox my mother-in-law's Omugwa Omugwa package. Omugwa Omugwa package is Omugwa Omugwa. Yeah, you're right. Uh -huh. So, um, they're actually heavy sort of, so we're going to be taking the camera down so that we could show you some of the stuff that she brought and um, we're so grateful because this time yeah we need to store food so whichever food we're going to have we're going to reserve it and store it all so that nigeria is just something else anyway so we have a whole lot of stuff i've actually unboxed previously the one that my mom that time was sleeping the one that my mom brought and she brought a whole lot of stuff a whole whole lot yeah at tamale and so many so many other things yes you've seen them yeah and so many other tamale yes so come and see how stuff oh hold on let's let out the Come, come close, come close to Don't worry, just come close to just the package. Yeah, so those are it, yeah? You see that? So in here, maybe tell them now. In here is a 20 liter of uh, red oil from my father, Pam Farm. Yeah. This is rice, Ubu rice. What else do you see? This is and one rice, basically. Yeah. Now it's more similar. Yeah. <laughs> Just cut more, don't cut more. So that if you open it, like wow. it. Oh. it is so clean, man. Guys, I, we're, we're definitely not going to be eating foreign rice anymore because this is just this is just foreign rice. See how clean it is, and they've actually extracted. They've actually extracted the stones, the dirt, and the the shafts. And the shafts. In a boy state, at least thank God, a boy has rice milk. We have rice milk. Yeah, that's that they put on, that they um, process rice and then peel it. Remove the shaft, remove the stone, and probably remove some dirt and sand. Yeah, that anything that will be an obstruction to the right to your mouth. Yes, yes. So to, your, to our mouth, basically. It has been all removed. Just remove it. So it is not like so. When 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 we say local rice, it's not like the previous local rice that some of you guys know. Now we'll have to come and sit down and be selecting. We want to cook the right way by 6 p.m. It's not have to start by 1 p.m. So selecting stones, chaff, and all that. Mm -hmm. This one, you can close your eyes, put it, put it inside the pot, and boil it for so Yeah. It has a lot of starch. It's just equivalent to foreign rice, yeah, basically. But the only thing is that it's planted here. So, now the next thing, let, let me tell you one thing about this oil that like you see. The oil is actually very, very, it's just, it's just, you know this Abuja oil or wherever, wherever you stay that when you use oil, you're going to be tasting uh, 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 you a moko. Moko in your mouth. mouth. And then, and then the, 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 the oil will just sit in your throat. Scratching. Scratching. Like it's going to be scratching. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. This, this, this oil is not like that, honestly. Honestly, if you have this oil bag, you can just be eating yam every day. I literally start eating yam because of this oil. <laughs> the thing is that when I went to my when I went to my husband's village, I saw my, the, 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 uh, my mother-in-law was just all over yam every morning, night, afternoon, and all of that. And I was like, ah, it's not going. So your mama like right? You like yam? But now, since she has passed that over to me. 
I love yam because of the oil. And when I want to eat my yam, I eat it with just this oil. It tastes really good. The smell is just very pure. I don't know, does she does she use machine to extract the oil? It's globally made cooks, oil cooks. Mm -hmm. You know, this was to buy from uh, uh, the new group. Those ones their business oil. Okay. So they will look for anything to add to it. Yeah. Make it colorful. Yeah, and much. And much. So for this one is totally made to be put once it's extracted from the water, they will cook it for like two, three hours. The only thing that will be in the oil is the oil. So that is why this one can just stay for two years, nothing will happen to it. Yes. It's very, very safe. Okay, so the next thing is this leaf. This is Ozuza leaf. Itasi. Oh, Itasi leaf, the, the bitter leaf. I, I usually love this leaf this time around because I put it in my soup these days. And at least this is village Itasi. Will give us the smell. I don't know, does it actually have smell? And then the taste, that bitter taste. Let what them know that? what it means. The leaf you put in Uba, that uh, uh -huh. Ishe that they put in Uba, that Ishe one stuff. Uh -huh. So I'm actually going to process it dry. I'm actually mm -hmm. going to dry it just like my sister usually does. Okay, the catch fish seller. <laughs> and then I'll keep it for future use. Yeah. Uh -huh. Many, um, okay, so now. she got us Udara. About the what? About the what? Come closer. She got us Udara. She got us salt. This is Ubu salt. Sea salt, are we? Yes, sea salt. Yeah, sea salt. Uh -huh. That's what they use in preserving my periwinkle. <laughs> yeah, this is sea salt. This is Uba. Uba. Yes, I love Uba. This is garlic egg. Yes, uh -huh. uh -huh. Small, small uh -huh. This thing can be bitter for Africa. Thick. But it tastes good. Oh, thank God. It has even taken her time. Like, seriously, this my mother-in-law is something else. But she's something else. She has, I'm sure she feels this with herself. Yes, okay. Yeah, she has taken her time to peel this if you see. And then bring it. So we're going to be using it. And yes, sir. Unbox, unbox, so that I'll see the one I'm carrying. Uba number one. <laughs> <laughs> and then the one in here. It's called G4. It's called G4. It's, it's Gary. Uh, this is actually home prepared meat, Gary. She made this herself? Yeah, she literally did this herself. Honestly. She fried it herself. Guys, I'm so grateful for all of this meat. My mom, my mother in law, like I have two mothers right now. You know what I mean? When you not see my own fish, I'm waiting on. <laughs> oh, your own fresh fish. Fresh fish, dry fish, crayfish. Oh, it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> it's yapa everywhere. Yeah. Where is it? Fresh fish. See the dry fish here. Whether they don't start to eat something. Oh, dry fish. Yellow yeah, yeah. fish. This one is from Kenya. Yeah, you have the dry fish here. You have the dry fish. Oh, and you have crayfish inside. Come and do come and come come and Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the gifts and everything. Yeah, you want to go to see. Thank you for, thank you, my mother. Thank you, my mother-in-law. Thank you, my 
thank you, my best sister, I'm the dear. best sister I have. Do I have to enter here? Yay! Alright, see you again, guys. Bye! Bye. Bye.